Hi guys, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to send out some energy just to really relax us for a few moments, just to have a little bit of time to think. This Aries moon is making people want to really make changes in their life quickly. Um, just jump right in. Anything's good. I just want to change something. Um, it's good to take a step back and just think about it for a few minutes and just really... Um, Sometimes you need to change your perspective of how you're thinking, too. It can be, you know, you have this one thing that you've always done, and you've always done it that way, and you feel like you have to do it, and all of a sudden it's bringing all the stress. It's okay to stop, take a couple deep breaths, and think of a different way. It's okay to change your perspective on certain things that you've done the same you know, forever and ever. So yes, Aries moon can be a little bit, it's, this energy is going to make you kind of feisty, I think. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and send out a little bit of relaxing energy right away. Just kind of sending it out and giving us that nice bubble, encompassing our, just really all the way around our bodies to help us to protect ourselves today. And just allow the positive to come in and, and um, really have a lead shield really up to keep the negativity out. So, yes, and just holding space for you for a moment, just thinking about, you know, what is it that you do the same all the time that really doesn't have to be done that way? You know, um, not putting so much pressure on ourselves. And breathe. Oh, just a couple of deep breaths. Just relax. So I had my holiday party uh, last night for the Reiki share and my teacher and all the girls. And it was so amazing because when they start sending to me, I all of a sudden just, I'm relaxed. And next thing you know, I have my mouth completely open like that. And I mean, the things that happen during Reiki can be so different for each person. Uh, my left leg started kicking out, and I thought, well, what do I need to release? Obviously, there's something I need to release in my life, so <laughs> it's amazing, really. So I hope that you're feeling this, really just feeling a little bit of tingling or warmth around you. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a cocoon. <laughs> All right, let's get to the cards. I know everybody's ready for the cards, especially now that we can read them. Here we go. Notes of the Universe with Mike Dooley. Yeah, happy solstice. Oh my gosh, the longest night. And it's going to be <laughs> a great time to go inward and just really ask a few questions. All right. Give yourself much more credit. I have never pulled this card before. I can't wait to see what it says. I like it already. Sending out to our hearts. A stranger than strange preponderance to ponder. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Oh, see, wow, even though I use preponderance ineptly, this one is really good. Please ponder. Wow, I'm going to read it again, just in case you want to ponder this. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Yes, sometimes we can have it where we're givers and um, the person that you're with is a receiver. And it doesn't mean that it's actually the best situation, um, but it works for you. And it becomes a good relationship because you're both kind of satisfied and you do what you want to do. And then there's other relationships are, that can be really horrible. But at the same time, some people are much more patient with the person that's wounded. And I just, I really, that's a... A deep card. I was looking for something kind of fun this morning. <laughs> All right. Keepers of the Light Oracle with Kyle Gray. Let's see what we've got here. Yep. 
and we have Bridget, Inner Strength. Looks like she's holding it right there in her hands. All right, Bridget. Sending out to your solar plexus. Bridget, Inner Strength. Move, move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Bridget is a Celtic goddess of Ireland who is closely associated with fire in the time of spring. She's the twin flame of Sir Nunes. She was so well loved by the Celtic people that when Christianity came to Ireland, she was adopted as a saint of the holy wells and other holy places. She's a powerful figure who can help us channel our energy into something that is important for our growth. And as she herself has lasted through the ages, she adds longevity to our journey so that we can reach a deep state of wholeness. You can call on her to bring her sacred flames to burn away anything that's not serving you, to bless any new project you have in mind, and for support with fertility. Extended message. Your spiritual fire is growing within. Recognize the power of your soul is greater than you think. You have come a long way since you began this journey. There's a powerful force within you, and you have the ability to create wonderful changes in your own life and inspire those around you to do the same. Be aware of new projects, opportunities, and fertile ideas that can grow into something larger than you may imagine. Call on the fiery goddess Bridget to light the way ahead. Yes, she's holding it right there, just picturing that coming in and bringing in those opportunities and burning away anything that's not serving us. All right. Let's do one out of the universe has your back. All right. There's a stream of love supporting my dreams. So a very nice positive affirmation. There's a stream of love supporting our dreams. Yes, we're in it together. It's all about community and helping each other out no matter what, you know. I really feel that that's super important right now. And we're going to go to the Soul's Truth deck. Soul's Truth. Brianne Hubby. Some questions to ponder, I bet. <laughs> All right. To whom am I comparing myself right now? To whom am I comparing myself right now? What you are able to see in another is only visible because it's within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating. Oh, I love it. Yes, we have to get busy and create the things that we love. But it is a good idea to just step back and kind of, it's the solstice of take a break, relax, and think about how you can change a couple things so that you're not so stressed out. You know, how can you change the perspective? of certain things that you've always done in your life and make it to where it's a little easier on you this time around. We have the permission to change our minds. <laughs> That's the beauty of life. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, let's put our hands by our waist and breathe in and out and in and out. And I just hope you have a wonderful solstice. And I'm going to try to do a meditation later. Um, I'll try to attach it to this video and see if my technology works. And you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe, and share.